Hi, welcome to Media Poor. I'm Yuling Wu. In this video essay, I will focus on formal aspects to analyze the group videos that I participated in this semester. First, I will illustrate how our members make the video more attractive for target audiences through applying contagious characteristics of Berger's steps framework. For instance, let the first video which shows clinical skills become more acceptable for the general audience. Second, I will draw on Guo, Kim and Rubin's theory to discuss the relationship between video production and audience engagement. Due to the different genre of the two group videos, I further analyze how we drew our video plan based on this theory to achieve clients' aims. Third, during the process of teamwork, our group also met some problems. I will talk about how our team keeps stable developing on the application of the Lencioni's five dysfunctions fable. Besides, Ronco's creativity and leadership theory will also be mentioned in this video. Last, by applying Lindgren's user engagement framework and Granovator's work about strong weak ties, I will demonstrate how our group members promote videos on social media platforms with examples of some engagements and promotions. After discussing these aspects, I will reflect on my practice critically in this module and look forward to the future. As Berger said, contagious characteristics, which is also concluded as STEPS framework, include social currency, triggers, emotion, public, practical value, and stories. In the first group video, we chose to present the importance of hygienic hand washing practice in the form of gain show. The reason why we selected this clinical skill and form was considering the social currency, triggers, and the practical value. For social currency, we wondered that the form of game show can make our video be entertaining and interesting because audiences may prefer to share a funny video rather than a traditional educational one. For triggers, because hand washing is one of the most common and important hygienic actions in daily life, and the people were taught to wash hands before dinner when they were younger. Therefore, hand washing is closely related to audiences. In this case, this video has practical value due to the importance of hand washing. Audiences could learn about the details and correct the procedure. Furthermore, we also introduce the skills of check patient's body through the demonstration of volunteers. Our second group video utilized contagious characteristics similarly, but we focused on stories rather than social currency this time, since the stories of friends of Williams and Turners could be more motivated and touched so that the audiences can not only know more about the heritage but also want to make some contribution like sharing or donating. Besides, by applying characteristics of triggers, we present a vlog of young volunteers' experience instead of interviewing in order to make the video more attractive for young people. The theory of Berger's contagious characteristics did improve my thinking while designing the video plan. I did not just think about ideas. Instead, I always try to focus on three or more contagious characteristics to consider that how to make the video be viral. Besides, I also reflected on the ideas to, to double check if it has enough contagious figures to attract audience attention. Through this way, my work efficiency was enhanced due to the concrete aims. In this master, our group produced two videos, both are a combination of promotional, cultural, and educational videos. 
However, due to the different amps that are required by clients, we chose different phones to present the two videos. For the first video, the client wants to promote the awareness of the learning zone in the School of Medicine, especially for existing students. Besides, the client also wishes to emphasize the clinical skill teaching in the facility. Therefore, we introduced one of the most common clinical skills, hand washing by the form of game show. The main stage is placed in the learning zone as our goal is to advertise the facility. As Gore, Kim and Rubin suggest, videos that interprets and instructors talking head with slides are more engaging than slides alone. We finally decided to let the winner of Hygiene Gain talk about his secret to success rather than just show the result of game. The winner played the role of authorized talking head in our video. He has the function of improving the audience engagement. Other than that, we adapted the tongue-in-cheek style to create the feeling of a cheesy game show. The funny sound effect, including crowd laughter, applause and ear, also contributed to make the video more comedic. For the second video, we recorded the daily work experience of a young volunteer for the Friends of Williams and Sternals. By applying Guo, Kim and the Rubin theory, that more personal feel could be more attractive. We focused on a young volunteer's demonstration. The volunteer was a leader to guide the audience get into the underground world. Although the end of this video is not travel, but Cassia Diems and Fasan Mayer's theory of travel decision making can also match our plan. The experience of a volunteer could evoke the audience fantasies and daydreams about the turners then further influences their behaviors. Through this way, we can achieve the short objectives including enhance the public awareness to make more people know about the turners and showing the educational value to attract universities, colleagues and schools. As OECD suggests, the formal learning has a certain learning objective and is well organized and structured by default, while informal learning has no objective. In the first video, we have a clear aim to show specific clinical skill, whereas in the second video, the educational purpose is not our intentional point. However, it can be seen that the first video is much more entertaining than the second, because we chose a funny way to present a more serious topic. In this case, the audience can have interest in practicing skills and knowing more about the learning zone. During the process of cooperation, our team also met some problems. Fortunately, we finally solved these conflicts. For instance, according to Lencioni's five dysfunctions fable, the model of pitfalls can be divided into five issues absence of trust, fear of conflict, lack of commitment, avoidance of accountability, and the inattention to results. In our teamwork, the main problem is the lack of commitment, which means that our teammates have low awareness of taking actions after making decisions. In order to push the group to work as schedule set, Yun Qi Huo, as the leader of the team, formulated several deadlines for us. When editing the first video, we found that our work efficiency is quite low because we work separately resulted in the lack of communication and some teammates did not join in the post-production. Therefore, for the second video, Yun Qi suggested that we should pick an afternoon when we can work together so that we can accelerate the production. 
In addition, after moving to the stage of video promotion, we drew a concrete plan for each one to ensure that our video can earn more engagement through social media platform. And the result is perfect. Everyone finished the work in time because of the appropriate consensus. According to Runkle's theory, leadership has significant impact on creativity, especially transformational leadership, which can inspire group creativity and promote the actions more than transactional leadership. In this regard, Yunqi plays the role of transformational leader in our team. Runkle also argues that brainstorm will emerge the problem of postpone judgments that affect the work efficiency and the group's de decision. In order to avoid this problem, during a stage of brainstorming, everyone wrote down individual thoughts and we discussed together on the lecture. Even though there are some difficulties in designing a plan, we still finish the discussion in two hours in case the postponed judgment happens. For the promotion plan, we chose Twitter, Facebook, WeChat, and Sina Weibo at first. However, we finally posted on Instagram instead of Weibo because the main users of Weibo is from China mainland, while YouTube is inaccessible. In our plan, close friends and families on WeChat and Facebook belong to strong ties while the followers and colleagues on Instagram and Twitter is weak ties. According to Grand Doctor, weak ties provide people with, a, with access to information and the resources beyond those available in their own social circle, but strong ties have greater motivation to be of assistance and are typically more easily available. This theory did work on our promotion. The closest friends on WeChat is more likely to click into our video links, so we didn't need any hashtags or posts to influencers. However, on Instagram and Twitter, we used several tags in order to let the users can search the keywords. Also, we got retweets from key influencers which can reach more audiences through the weak ties. By applying the participation model of LinkedIn, after scanning the comments that audiences left, it seems that the level of engagement is in our video has reached leaving positive comments but didn't achieve providing constructive criticism. I think the main problem is most reviewers are our close friends, which are strong ties. Then we avoid leaving critical comments. Other than that, these positive comments also prove that our video does not access to potential audiences on social media platform. In general, I demonstrate critical reflection on two group videos and what I learned in this year. Over the course of the module, I gained the knowledge of contagious characteristics, audience engagement, and other stories. In addition, I, I also learned the difference of distinct genre like travel vlog, educational video, and social video, and how to alter the plan according to different genre. During the process of, of brainstorming, filming, and post-production, I apply this series in practicing unconsciously. Besides, when we have a difficulty in thinking about the title for the second video, Carrie gave us a valuable idea that we can try something new to reach broader audience, like Liverpool and the weekend, instead of just using Turner's and John Williamson. The, the, the idea is significantly helped me because I realized that my consideration is restricted to the content of the video and forget to broaden the horizon that focus on a larger scale. Apart from that, everyone in our team worked well with others. 
we have a clear division of work. In the future, I will watch more viral videos that posted by other YouTubers and analyze why these videos can be welcomed by general audiences. In addition, I am going to create my own channel and upload some vlogs that I film in my daily life. Through these practices, I will further develop my skills of IT, filming, and learn more about how to reach higher audience engagement. Thanks for your watching.